Hello amazing Spider-Man fans, it's Filmmaker Mike and I'm here with a brand new, for the very first time, I'm reviewing a Marvel Select action figure from Diamond Select. And you may already know what Marvel Select figure I'm reviewing, but if you don't know, well, let me show you. And it is Marvel Select's Disney Store exclusive, The Amazing Spider-Man, Unmasked Spider-Man variant action figure. And as you can see, I can barely fit him in the camera in the actual the whole uh, shot so I'm gonna have to pan up a little bit and pan down just to show you the whole front of the packaging so it's a huge action figure it's seven inches tall and uh, they do take up a lot of the space and these packaging is, is just huge if you look at it um, so you get a good look at the front Marvel Select Disney Store this is a Disney Store exclusive you can only get this at Disney stores you got the Amazing Spider-Man here on the bottom, and I'm going to tilt to its side so you can see it. Amazing Spider-Man, the film's logo. Unmasked Spider-Man right there, and the Spider logo, which I'm also wearing on my shirt right now. And you've got the figure right there. Unmasked Peter Parker with a second Spidey head with his mask on. And you can also change both his hands. You can see his web shooters there, and he has his spider glove uh, hands, which are closed hands. I don't think you can open those. Yeah, so they're closed fists. So, really awesome. And these Marvel Select figures, what I really like about them, and I'm glad I, I finally have my first one, is they always come with a really cool background diorama in the back that you can use it to display your figure. So, really nice. Got a blue background, and so the figure really pops out. On the side, you've got a huge graphic of Spidey right there. It's really awesome in his new suit and on the bottom the amazing Spider-Man movie logo right there okay and on the back you've got a lot of stuff here got Marvel Select Spidey right there and the action figure in action and you've got a description here unmasked Spider-Man while visiting a science lab where his father once worked Peter Parker discovered an experiment involving insects and radiation an irradiated spider bit him when he got too close and overnight Parker discovered that he had undergone a metamorphosis, gaining strength, speed, and agility. At first seeking to use his powers for personal gain, Peter would eventually realize that with great power comes great responsibility, donning a mask to protect his loved ones and help others as the amazing Spider-Man. This exclusive Spider-Man unmasked figure comes with an interchangeable masked head and interchangeable gloved forearms. So there we go, we just got some bunch of logos, proof of purchase from Diamond Select Toys, it looks like an amazing action figure, and uh, price in the US is $22.50, right here in the bottom, Can Canada is $24.50, I ended up paying about $25 bucks with tax anyway, so still not a bad price for an amazingly huge action figure. So now I'm going to open him up for the review, and uh, I noticed, I just have to really rip this apart. So, to make things easier, rip up that side of the box, there we go, and you can just see the huge plastic bubble on the card, so I'm going to have to start anywhere, I guess, so we might as well start from the bottom, right here. This is a huge figure, huge bubble, huge packaging, so I'm going to start at the corner here, and rip. There we go, and the diorama is loose. And we've even got a Marvel licensed product, uh, Diamond Select. Looks like a flyer here of some sort. I'm gonna pull that aside. And the figure, this is a huge plastic prison. Definitely huge plastic prison. So now I have Spidey almost free from his plastic prison. I'm gonna put the, the card back and the plastic shell aside. I have Spidey here in this huge plastic prison bubble. And he does have twisty ties, and there's a, quite a lot of them. So bear with me here. I'm going to have to untwist him as fast as possible. So unlike the elastic bands that you can just cut off from Hasbro figures, uh, you're going to have to really be patient and uh, untwist him so that you can uh, really release your figures from their plastic prison. And I, I don't know, I, I guess I really enjoy saying that a lot. So getting with one, there we go. I wonder if I could just actually use my scissors and just cut through this. It would be a lot of tough, but you know, it could be faster. There we go. Starting with the leg. Just be careful when you're using sharp blade objects, when you're using a knife or scissors. Be careful not to hurt yourself. There we go. 
we've got two more two more thing is the man it's just tied so tight it's it's kind of hard you for the legs and the the arms the hands you really have to unwind it first to even have any movement to actually get some scissors in there man they really tie these things really well jeez it's like the figure's gonna go somewhere if they don't tie all all legs and all hands there we go loosen that one up one more one more everyone bear with me here ah jeez it's so secured it's crazy oh my gosh this is just nuts this is redonkulous oh man this is really tough I'm gonna have to try my scissors here try to get in there and try to okay this is just crazy this is absolutely wow yeah if you're definitely if you're not doing a review on, while you're opening the toy this specific action figure it's fine but you know there we go loosen it got it here we go thank you all for being so patient now let me release Peter Parker and he's coming off there we go yes we even got one hanging out let me just stand him up right here and let me get off his uh, take off his um his spidey mask his, his masked head and his gloved forearms there's a strip of tape holding it down there we go there's the masked head and his gloved forearms which are fists ready for punching so plastic shell gone twisty ties moving aside so tilt the camera back down there we go and there's the backdrop really really cool and there's even pegs on the wall so you can have them like stand aside and on the back there's like this thing where you know you can hang them on your wall if there's a, you have a screw or a wall hanger you can easily put it and lock it so you can hang this on your wall or wherever you choose to display and uh, you got a brick wall right here and air conditioning unit window and it looks like it doesn't even look like a sidewalk or anything it is it looks like a, the uh, awning of um, of a store or some kind of place so very cool and uh, I'm not gonna bother to show this licensed product stuff because yeah it's taking a while anyway here's the figure looks really awesome amazing detail on uh, the face uh, it definitely looks like Andrew Garfield I mean it's a very very good likeness um, and uh, what, 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 wait, what am I saying? You should go to articulation first. Articulation, ball jointed neck, right there. Ball hinged shoulders, as you can see right there. And you've got a ball, ball hinge at the uh, upper arm and a ball hinge at the elbow. Ball hinge at the elbow right there. And swivel forearm and ball hinged uh, wrists so it's awesome because you can actually have him uh, move his hands if you want him to move him up or down down or up while he's wet you know shooting web that's really awesome and you've got an upper looks like a upper ball jointed torso and ball hinge there's ball joints on the uh, uh, hips and double ball hinge knees right there really awesome articulation and ball hinged ankles and the ankles you can even, uh, they're actually ball jointed and ball hinged ankles. You can twist his ankles to the side. It's amazing. The amount of articulation this figure has. It's crazy. It's really cool. So, that is Spidey. And um, so, if I wanted to exchange his head, I'm going to have to pop, just pop off his head. And I'm pop, trying to pop it off. It's kind of tough. Oh, boy. There we go, and it just pops off like that, and there's the ball joint. There's his head, and I'm going to put Spidey's head on. Just pop it in. Just like so. And it's, it takes some time. You have to get used to 
there we go it's popped in and he has his he doesn't have his gloved hands on yet so maybe we should put his gloved forearms on so I'm gonna pop off one of his hands his forearms and pop on his gloved forearm just like that there we go and there it is he's got his gloved forearm on and he, it's, it's kinda cool you can even have him have one ungloved forearm while he's shooting web so that's pretty cool or but you know what let's 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 fix this spidey and have him completely suited up so I'm gonna put his right forearm there we go and there's spidey although he doesn't have a web shooting hand a gloved web shooting hand in this figure he does have both uh, fists up. He's ready to fight. He's ready to punch someone. Detail on the mask and the the, the suit. The the webbing is raised. It's really nice, and the texture on the blue uh, part of the suits is, is awesome. The detail, the red spider on the back is raised. Everything about this figure is just awesome. Very intricate. Very amazing detail. Really enjoy it. Really like it. It's really cool. So I'm going to switch back to his unmasked version, which I, I kind of really dig and uh, will kind of um, pose him with his unmasked uh, suit or his unmasked version on the diorama. So let's just say he's still practicing or he's trying to practice his web shooters. I'm going to pop off the head again, just like that, and pop on Andrew Garfield's face, Peter Parker's face, head back on the neck ball jointed neck there we go and there's Spy there's Spidey there's Peter Parker really awesome so he has peg holes on the bottom of his feet can instantly just lock it just push it down so it'll lock on the peg holes and they're actually on the ankle part of his uh, feet So if I can just lock it, it's kind of tough to push it down. There we go. So you guys kind of get the idea, even if I didn't lock both of them on. But when you can lock it, there you go. He can hang side sideways on the building or on the yeah on the side of the building. Really cool, really nice, uh, cool diorama, and you can even have him face, of course, face you and shoot web. So this is an awesome and amazing action figure. I'm really glad I got this and uh, I really want to get the master version, the original version, just because I'd like to have a Spidey with it, you know, has, he can web shoot, has web shooting hands. But you know, the detail on the, the mask, the, the head sculpt of Peter Parker is just dead on likeness with Andrew Garfield, the suit, the body, the articulation. This is an excellent excellent amazing spider-man action figure so i highly suggest if you can if you can find this at a disney store if you can get this i highly recommend getting picking this up it's a great spider-man action figure you will not be disappointed amazing detail and uh, it's definitely worth the money and uh, i'm hoping to find the lizard also not just the other masked version of spider-man but the lizard figure as well which is just huge it's actually to scale with this spidey figure that lizard action figure from Marvel Select, uh, from Diamond Select, and in the Marvel Select series, is just huge, and I'm really excited to get that and review that as well and add it to my collection. So, uh, really enjoyed reviewing this for all of you and unboxing it. Hopefully, you enjoyed my review. I definitely give this uh, Marvel Select, Diamond Select, unmasked, amazing Spider-Man action figure variant a solid two thumbs up. Um, five solid five out of five web shooters it's an amazing action figure a great price a great deal and uh, you kind of get pretty much two action figures in one because you have an unmasked spider-man and a masked spider-man uh variant and you have this really cool diorama and display so it's definitely worth it pick it up if you see it thank you all for watching please feel free to click on the thumbs up button right below like favorite comment subscribe and stay tuned for more amazing spider-man and marvel select and a lot more other spidey action figure reviews. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all again soon. Web swing!